A golf cart is a great way to get around the links. They're quick, easy to operate, and economical. But these days, most golf carts and low-speed vehicles, or LSVs, are being used for a whole lot more than just golf. Golf carts are now routinely used for transportation at sporting events, hospitals, airports, national parks, college campuses, businesses, military bases, retirement communities, and various other specialty use applications. With this increase in golf cart use has come an increase in golf cart incidents, many of which are serious and even fatal. Nearly 15,000 golf cart incidents happen every year. That's over 1,000 per month. So you see, as golf carts and LSVs become more and more common, the need for safety training for these vehicles becomes increasingly critical. Let's take a look at the hazards and dangers associated with golf carts and LSVs and go over the 10 safety rules to keep you safe while operating one. Meet Sue, the events coordinator at a major convention center. She is very busy and constantly on the go. Notice how she's distracted, not paying attention to her driving. She jumps into her golf cart and throws it into reverse without really looking to see if anything or anyone is behind her. As you can see, this is extremely dangerous. If those conventioneers hadn't been watching, they could have been seriously injured. So, safety rule number one is check all sides, behind and down for pedestrians, traffic, or other obstructions before moving your LSV especially in reverse. Remember to always yield to pedestrians and anticipate a pedestrian who may not hear or see an electric golf cart approaching. It is not unusual for pedestrians to step out into the path of a golf cart from between parked cars or from behind other obstructions. Drive defensively. This is Ronnie, the parts supervisor for a large power company. Generally speaking, he's an expert driver but one small lapse in caution nearly results in catastrophe. He assumes that there is no one just inside the door and rolls on in without looking. See how quickly a disaster can happen? You must constantly be on the lookout for dangerous situations and avoid them. Safety rule number two is use caution when entering or exiting an enclosed area such as a warehouse Stop and look in all directions before proceeding into unmarked intersections. If your vehicle is equipped with a horn, it's a good idea to sound it before entering or exiting a building. Dave here is a network engineer on a college campus, always rushing from one building to another. He's often very distracted and under stress. Of course, he knows not to mix drugs or alcohol with driving a golf cart. But what he may not realize is that many forms of prescription and non-prescription drugs can also impair a driver's ability to safely operate his vehicle. Check their labels and be aware of their effects. Safety rule number three is never operate a golf cart or LSV while under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Now, notice how Sue carefully navigates through a crowd of pedestrians. She's taking it slowly and cautiously, which is good. But then she stands up to get a better view of the path ahead while driving the vehicle. Understandable, right? But very dangerous. In this position, she does not have proper control of the vehicle. She could inadvertently hit the accelerator and collide with some of these pedestrians. Safety rule number four is Never stand up while driving an LSV or golf cart. If you need to stand up to see what's up ahead, bring the vehicle to a full stop, set the parking brake, and get out of the vehicle. One of the biggest complaints pedestrians have about personnel driving golf carts 
is that they do not exercise sufficient caution around people on foot. Golf carts often share the sidewalk with pedestrians, and it must be remembered at all times that pedestrians have the right of way. Additionally, you should never be using a cell phone or music playing device while operating a golf cart. Safety rule number five states, avoid the use of cell phones, earpieces, or music playing devices while driving a golf cart or LSV. And safety rule number six says, use extreme caution while operating a golf cart or LSV around cars, trucks, and pedestrians. We can't stress this one enough. Always remember that a golf cart is big enough to seriously injure or even kill a pedestrian but small enough to be crushed in a collision with a car or truck. Keeping a safe distance from both pedestrians and vehicles is a good way to prevent these things from happening. Ideally, a golf cart should have a designated path of travel, but when you have to share the path with pedestrians, always yield to them and exercise extreme caution. When operating a golf cart or LSV around other vehicles, remember that other drivers may not see or hear you. A golf cart's size allows it to fit more easily into the blind spot of other vehicles. This makes it all the more urgent to drive defensively. A defensive driving course is recommended for all operators. Here's a clear safety violation. Sue already has a passenger on board, which means the vehicle is at its seating limit of two. But then Sue allows a third and then a fourth person to climb on. This may seem harmless, but in fact, it is extremely dangerous. Not only is Sue over her seating limit, but she is most likely over her LSV's weight capacity. If Sue's LSV gets up to speeds of as little as 10 miles per hour, this scenario could prove disastrous. So safety rule number seven states, do not exceed the vehicle's seating capacity or weight capacity, including all cargo. Remember, as the driver of a golf cart or LSV, you are ultimately responsible for your own safety, the safety of your passengers, and the safety of the people around you. While we're on the subject of passengers, it is the driver's responsibility to educate passengers about the safety devices built into the golf cart being operated. Nothing really wrong here, right? But take a closer look. See how Dave's foot is protruding from the vehicle? Believe it or not, his foot can snag a tree or a signpost or even another person and cause a very serious injury. Likewise, with this little wave Dave gives to a passing friend, with the vehicle moving at 15 or 20 miles per hour, his hand could be severely injured if it accidentally came in contact with an immovable object. So, safety rule number eight is, keep arms and legs and all body parts in the LSV or golf cart at all times. Of course, the exception to this rule is when you are required to use hand signals for turning or stopping. Notice this next safety issue. The driver jumps out of the vehicle while it's still rolling to a stop. You might ask, what's wrong with this? The vehicle's nearly at a stop and was always under the driver's control. It's important to remember that a golf cart or LSV, while small compared to a car or truck, is still a very large, heavy, and powerful piece of machinery that can cause severe damage to people and property. For those last few moments while the vehicle is rolling to a stop without a driver behind the wheel, it is in reality out of control, and things can happen in the blink of an eye. Safety rule number nine is, bring the vehicle to a complete stop and properly set the parking brake before exiting. This is one of the most common scenarios among golf cart incidents, and it is among the deadliest. The driver makes a sharp turn when the passenger is either not paying attention or is otherwise not prepared for it. Even at speeds as low as 10 or 15 miles per hour, the inertia created is enough to throw a passenger out of the vehicle, causing them to collide with the pavement, a tree, a car, a pedestrian, or any number of other physical dangers. Safety rule number 10 states, 
reduce speed around corners and at bumps. Avoid sharp turns, especially when speeds exceed 10 miles per hour. As the driver of the vehicle, take every precaution to ensure the safety of your passengers. Slow the vehicle down as you approach curves or turns, and verbally warn your passengers before making those turns. Encourage your passengers to hold on to the safety handholds provided on most golf carts and LSVs. Now that we're familiar with some of the hazards you might encounter while operating a golf cart or LSV, and now that we've gone over the 10 safety rules, let's take a look at a few other tips on proper operating procedure for your golf cart or LSV. The first thing you want to do is perform an inspection to make sure everything is in proper working order. Check for damage, leaks, loose parts, or underinflated tires. Check gauges and controls, the reverse alarm, and horn. If your vehicle is equipped with safety equipment such as seat belts, roll cages, and safety handles, check to make sure they're in good shape and working properly, according to the owner operator's manual. Be aware that most golf carts do not have true rollover protection, since most golf cart canopies are designed as a minimal weather shield and not as a safety feature. Secure all cargo. Check for play in the steering wheel and perform a quick rolling brake test to make sure the brakes are functioning and that the pedal feels normal. If you discover an unsafe condition of any kind, do not operate the vehicle and report the problem immediately. The ultimate authority on your golf cart or LSV is the user's manual. Be familiar with its contents, safety features, the dangers, and all particulars of your vehicle. Let's take a moment to think about the differences between golf carts and automobiles. It's tempting to operate a golf cart as a kind of mini car, but there are enormous differences between these two kinds of vehicles that must be kept in mind in order to maintain safety in a golf cart. A golf cart, while lightweight and maneuverable, provides very limited protection. You can see the differences in size and weight between the two vehicles. The car is much heavier and built for speed. It is also equipped with airbags, side intrusion beams, structures designed to protect operator and passengers, seat belts, robust braking systems, and safety glass. Golf carts rarely have these kinds of safety features, so drivers and passengers of golf carts are much more exposed to the dangers surrounding the vehicle. Whenever a golf cart collides with an automobile, the golf cart always loses. So exercise extreme caution while driving in traffic zones and check with local authorities about rules and regulations for golf cart use on public roadways. And don't make the mistake of thinking your golf cart is just like the cars around you. Use the safety handholds as you enter and exit the golf cart and make sure your feet are firmly planted on the golf cart floor. Fasten your seatbelt if so equipped following manufacturer's recommendations, and pay heed to all warnings and instructions posted inside the LSV. Keep a lookout for obstructions, overhead branches, ditches, or tree roots. Be sure you have adequate clearance when passing near or underneath any structure. Be cognizant of the weather and how it may affect your golf cart's operation. Wind, rain, snow, and other weather conditions may affect a golf cart's ability to operate safely. Golf carts can be especially prone to skids, collisions, and rollovers on hills and slopes. If the brakes are applied too hard while traveling down a hill, the wheels can lock up, causing fishtailing and sliding. Don't drive across an incline, as this can easily lead to tipping and rolling. Instead, drive directly up or down a slope. Keep your foot on the brakes when descending a hill. And if the golf cart stops or stalls when going up a hill, carefully back straight down the hill in reverse, using the brakes to control your speed. If you find yourself losing control, don't panic, but rather maintain calm and steadily maneuver the vehicle back under your control. When braking, always give yourself plenty of time to stop especially as you reach higher speeds of 20 or 25 miles per hour. Apply the brakes firmly without slamming on them, as this may cause the vehicle to skid, slide, or fishtail. 
Keep in mind the extra time and distance you will need when the golf cart is loaded with passengers or cargo. Use caution when applying the service brake if the pedal also contains the parking brake feature. It is important to be aware of foot placement when your vehicle's braking system is set up in this manner. When stopping and parking, try to do so on a level surface with plenty of room to exit and re-enter the vehicle. Park away from stairs, sidewalks, fire lanes, and hydrants, making sure not to park within 10 feet of the entrance to a building, and never park where the natural flow of pedestrians and traffic might be obstructed. Even in the safest of driving conditions and with the most conditioned drivers, incidents can happen. If you find yourself involved in a golf cart incident, report it immediately. So remember, driving a golf cart is serious business. Even though it is much smaller, lighter, and more maneuverable than an automobile, a golf cart or LSV is still a heavy piece of machinery that must be operated with caution. One little mistake on a golf cart can bring about catastrophic results. Whether you drive an LSV on a college campus, on hospital grounds, in an airport, on a military base, or in some other location, always remember that the safety of yourself, your passengers, and the pedestrians around you must always be your number one priority. Follow the guidelines outlined in this program, review them often, and keep them in mind as you go about your business aboard a golf cart or LSV.